Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second tutorial. Uh, this one will follow on from the previous one in which we uh, created a, uh, a model. Uh, we converted it uh, into a format that can be used by Microsoft Flight Sim. In this one, we're going to insert the model into the right location in the world. Now, in this tutorial, uh, we're not going to create an airport, although for all intents and purposes, the, uh, the methodology is exactly the same. It's just that we're not going to uh, insert any runways or airports or anything else. We're simply going to insert one building into the scenery. So just like the other one, make sure cameras and developer, and we're going to create a new project. We're going to go to the, uh, in, uh, in most cases, my uh, FS projects, and we're going to call one called Tutorial Scenery. Select that, and we're going to call it Downtown, because, well, we're in downtown Halifax. So, and we're going to add in our package again. We're going to call it Downtown, but this time, the uh, previous tutorial, we had an art project. In this case, it's actually a BGL. Uh, we're going to make sure that uh, we're going to call it downtown over here. Again, you can call it whatever you want. Make sure this is changed to scenery because, of course, by default, it comes up as an aircraft. we got to do our placeholder again, just like we did before. We go into samples, uh, simple scenery. Uh, package definitions, and we're going to grab the thumbnail that's in here. Okay, and we're going to open this up, and we're going to make sure that we choose our asset directory. We're going to go to my projects, tutorial scenery, and package sources. Now, ordinarily, if we had a model lib in here, uh, we would select that, but in this case, we're not. So we're just going to go package sources and we are, of course, going to save our project, and we're going to load in the editor. Of course, it goes, which is normally a good thing. It will pop right over top, but uh, in my case, I, uh, you'll notice, too, that uh, I'm going to wait for it to, uh, to load back in so I can find the right place again. Happens to be... This building right here looks like a little T. So, first thing we're going to do now that we have this is we're going to grab our, go into our objects and we're going to find the object that we created before. And if you remember, it was called Gov. It's actually called Gov1. So, click on that, click Add. And of course, if you remember as well, it was absolutely huge. Again, we could change that in the uh, in 3D Max, or we could just change it in here, just by scaling this down to the right, uh, approximately the right size of what we want. Yeah, right there sounds good. So we translate that by moving it. Uh, that's probably a bit big. So again, we scale it. You just adjust it to what you want it to be. There you go. So now we would make sure we save our scenery. And we're going to go under our uh, scene directory. And we're going to call this downtown underscore gov. Save that. Now you notice, though, it's hard to notice in this screen, but there's a building over top of that from the simulator. So what we have to do is we have to get rid of that. So we're going to create a polygon. We can get rid of the gov now. And we'll click Add. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create, again, hold down the left control key, click, and we're going to draw a polygon around this building, double clicking at the end. It will get rid of everything. We go exclude all. Okay. Save scenery again. This time, okay, we're under scene and we're going to call it down town underscore gov underscore poly though make sure that you save it under a different name because this is a shape file the previous one was not so you're saving your 
Now, that's actually the extent. Now, of course, if we had all kinds of other buildings, let's say we built all these buildings in 3D Studio Max, we would just go around doing exactly the same thing. Of course, you'd probably only put one polygon down for everything, uh, as opposed to a little small one that I did. Uh, so, once that's done, we take our gizmo here. Let's just move our, our gizmo out of the way. And we now go into our inspector. And I am going to click this. Now, as always, I'd use the tilde key. It is all kinds of errors in there from the sim. I'm going to clear it out before I build my package. And notice... No errors. Well, this stuff at the end, but that's it. So that means that I've got a scenery package built that will contain an add to the sim, this one little building, and it adds a polygon to remove the area that I want. So now, if I go into, if I go back to my projects, go into tutorial scenery, there's a packages directory, and there's a package called downtown downtown. I copy that over. It's not there. Control V it, paste it in, boom. That means that if I reboot the sim, what will happen is this particular building will be there and the underlying generic building will be gone. And that's how you add a model. And as I said earlier, if we had built our package before, so the package that we built before was called Gov1. If we had built, say, 15 or 20 different buildings, I'll give you an example. Uh, I've actually been playing around with Halifax, and I built one called Halifax Area, or sorry, Bridges. If I go into my package sources and my model lib, I have the Angus Bridge, the Citadel, a clock tower. I've got George's Island, the Irving uh, Shipyards, the McKay Bridge, Purdy's Wharf, and all these various things. And if I go back to here now and I go into Bridges and I go into my packages, I have a Joseph Bridges. And so I could... In fact, if I go in here, just to show you this, I go in here and I go into Objects. I go to Scenery. Uh, let's see. Red Tower should be there. Halifax Red Tower. Right? Now, I could add this here. Oh, snap to the ground. Gizmo. Trans. Right? That's my Halifax Red Tower. Uh, again, what else did I build? Oh, uh, George's Island. See, George's Island is th is in here as well. I can add that. And of course, it's not the right size, but we don't really care. <laughs> and I'm on. Oops, snap to the ground is on. See, St. George's Island is there. Now. That's because I've got a, in my community, I've got one called Joseph Bridges. And those are now loaded every time I load the sim. And this one will be as well. So if you have any questions, I'll be around in the forums. Hopefully this helps somebody. Have a nice day.